is shining. I headed on over to Eagle Bridge Antiques. I spotted this Empoli vase in the very back of the store. You have to have hours with the store. There's a lot of things. Look at these mid-century planners. I was tempted. I didn't wind up getting them. They were just about retail. I know it was 20% off. There's a West German one. I love this ice bucket. I have one myself. And here's another one. I have not seen one out in the wild. There was no price on it. I wanted to ask. I didn't. I'm still thinking about it. Even though I have one myself, it's super cool. Yeah, I may just go back and get that and try to figure out the price. The store is absolutely packed. That's a very cool mid-century chair. Wasn't priced, I think it was $85. Wasn't bad. I was drawn to these dishes. Uh, again, not priced at all. Uh, but I do love the pattern, thinking about them. Wasn't a full set, but I do like the leaf pattern on them. Still thinking about it. May go back for them. They're just interesting detail on those. Next, I saw um, this mid-century lamp. Really cool. Had some condition issues, but and the shade was in great shape, which you usually don't see. Um, not quite sure if it's original or not. Here's some retro items, salt and pepper shakers. Like I mentioned before, you really have to dig and dig and dig at the store. So leave yourself plenty of time. If you're headed in the area, it's Eagle Bridge Antiques in upstate New York. Lots of treasures here. Not just mid-century. You have antiques. You have a little bit primitive. I love this canister set. This is a little too high at retail. Some mid-century glassware. This is by Libby. Again, just priced where I didn't pick those up, but I'm admiring them nonetheless. Another set of mid-century barware. Often very hard to leave it behind, but I'm trying just to make sure that there's enough margin there for me. Ah, oh, I'm poly. Hello. Did not get that. Again, price just a little bit at retail. Fair price, just a little bit too high for me, but so beautiful. 